Hello guys, and welcome back to some more Mafia 2. Just watch out for them nude mags this time, shall we? <laughs> oh yes, it's still in here. Thank goodness. Wait, is this my... This is my 2 centimeter PP. Okay, that's the good one. Okay, good. Don't mess around with my 2 centimeters. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Oh no. Roger that. Uh oh. oh. Um. Well, my bad. Oh god. <laughs> Police. Easy now, alright? I know you wanna give me a ticket. Is that all you wanna do? Okay, give me a second. You give me a ticket in a bit. Hey, there's a places to be first. Oh, maybe not? You don't want to give me a ticket? Okay, then. Okay, this is not cool. Very sorry, my no. bad. <coughs> where, where do I park my car to like... What, what's my garage? Right here? Alright, I'm just gonna park it in here then. Alright. What Great. a fucking dump. God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. Ah, this is a great place. Nothing is better than rotten food, some chips, and stuff in the fridge. Fuck, this is creepy. You don't say, hey. <laughs> Very creepy. Sea gift? Marty's apartment. It's 1951 still. My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Great. Hello there. Hey Vito, it's Henry. Hey. Listen, I'm setting up something big. I want you to come in on it. If you're interested in hearing more, come meet me at Lincoln Park and bring a piece. Okay. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. Now, one thing I would like is maybe some food and drinks, you know, I, I kind of do need my health to come up again. That'd be great. And then I would like to change clothes. Really lost all my clothes too? Guess I'm sticking with Tuxedo again. Actually, wait. I'm gonna go with some classes. Yes, yeah, students in classes. I, I gotta look very suspicious. Oh, not suspicious at all. One of those two things. <gasps> it's right over there. Okay, I see it. I can go in and get rid of repaired now. Alright, and now I go in here. I say, repair car with my $88 that I do not have. Yeah, all my cars are damaged. <laughs> all of them, not even a single one is like full. Okay, well, guess I'm gonna go with this. 
It's gonna start from score one. Wait, no, I, I changed my mind. I want to I wanna keep the PP. I'm, I have a feeling I'm gonna lose it if I take it with me. So I'm just gonna, you know, put it right back in the garage and take one of the other two crappy cars I have. Like this one. I like the little boost I gave you. See, I got green now. In pursuit of a hit and run driver. Copy that. I'm a, I'm a hit and run driver. You bet I am. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. And a speeding vehicle. Roger that. How do I even know you guys are after me? Come on, dude. I, I was trying to figure out which way you wouldn't go. I just went another way. Okay, here we go, and... Oh, it's in here, isn't it? Okay, let me just take my vehicle in there with you. Or with me. Hey, here he comes. Hey! What's up? Hey, Vito. Take a seat. Alright, listen. I've been doing some research at the Carlos business. So? So, the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope too. And he was stealing his customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Frank Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. Okay, so what does this have to do with us? Cause, if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs 2,500 bucks over in France. Then it's another thousand bucks to get it here. And? And we pick up 11 grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. That's 7,500 bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcone? Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand a cut. All right, but if Carlo's the only big supplier in the city, where are you going to buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the Chinks. Right, but it's also a front Jinx. for their other operations. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. And we can sell it for... 110. <whistles> nice. Okay, well, where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark, the Yid over on Palisade. I think a loan is 35, we give him 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But you know, who's gonna end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an hour Because Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news, they kill people. Look, only idiots do drugs. Deadbeats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'd gladly help them out. Especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution. So we don't need to worry about that. Are you guys in or not? I'm in. Come on, don't be stupid, Vito. Twenty fucking grand in one afternoon. <sighs> when? Right now. If we don't take the offer, the towns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito, it'll be a piece of cake. Let's go see Bruno then. Vito, how about you want us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, let's go. Oh, this is gonna be so much trouble. My character just doesn't take anything anymore. He's uh, just giving up on everything. Who's this guy we're gonna see? Him? His name's Bruno. He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. What if he doesn't give it to us, then what? Then the deal's off. 
But don't worry, I know this guy. He'll give us the money. Okay. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money from? There's three of the guys I know of. But if you want to ask Carlo or Frank Vinci for 35 grand, be my guest. In yeah. pursuit of a hit and run driver. The third guy. Okay. In business well, so my bad. Bad. Somebody Release. blew up a room full of his guys and shot him point blank in the face with a Tommy gun. Oh, that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't going to talk about that. All right, so, Henry, what is this guy, rich or something? I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Yeah? Oh, shit. Yeah, which is why we can't stiff the guy. <laughs> Besides, we got to keep this quiet. All right. Don't we trust him? Sure. Wise guy's been borrowing money from this guy forever. As long as we pay him back on time, we won't have a problem. Stop. We're no longer stop. Come on, watch out now. This is it. Stop here. Y yeah, but you see, the problem with that is... Um, run! Run away! Just run away! Run through the mission! They're right after me! They're right behind me! Go, go, go! Shoot Don't shoot me, please! I'm just running! Yes! <laughs> I did it. Hi, fellas. We're here to see Bruno. Hiya, Henry. If you got guns on you, put them down there. I gotta search you. Okay, I, I thought I had a little more than a one gun on me, but... Hiya, okay. Bruno. Hello, Henry. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company today? I need 35 grand and 20 dollar bills. Oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money. Tell me, why should I give that much to a small-time guy like you, huh? Convince me. I got a short thing. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. Then 45 is not enough. I'd be more comfortable with 65. That's a bit steep, even for you. 50 is all I can do. Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. So, how about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. 55, final offer. Anything more than that, it's not worth my time. Deal. I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll give me $55,000 by Friday. If you don't pay it back by then, the debt goes up by $10,000 every week. You'll oh, get it by Friday. Oh, boy. I have a feeling okay. it's going to go bad now. Isaac, prepare $35,000 in $20 bills. Now, you know I trust you, Henry, but if you screw me, remember these wise words from the Bible. And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus, chapter 22, verse 24. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your debt. So no funny business, okay, boys? Sure, Bruno. Thank you, Isaac. You want to count it, Henry? I'll take your word for it, and I'll bring it back on Friday along with your cut. I hope so. Good luck, boys. Oh, if this goes badly, we're screwed. Oh, yeah, this is the way out. Okay. Gonna go all. <laughs> gonna kick all the trash cans. There we go. All right. Cool. Um. Nah, I'm good with this car. I don't need to steal anyone else's car right now. Get in, guys. Nice job. Of course. I told you, give us the dough, didn't I? How come you know the Bible so good, Henry? You read it or something? Bruno always uses the same quote. I go to church on Sunday, so I asked the priest one time. 
You go to church? <laughs> yeah, and I can understand why you don't. They use big words. There's no hookers in the fool's lousy. Yeah, that okay. pretty much sums it up. Jeez, I ain't been there since 45. 45. What? That time your mother made you go to confession? Yeah, that time she smacked me for checking out some chick's cool. Ah, God rest his soul. How about you, Joe? How long's it been? Easter. Ah, that ain't too bad. 1941. I take that back then. You're going straight to hell. What, you're just <laughs> okay. figuring that out now? Don't worry. I'll save seats for the both of these. You know, I heard about a long shot named Bruno once. Must be the same guy. Yeah? What'd you hear? Well, you know Mickey the Crab, right? What, the guy who cleans the bathrooms at Carlos joint? Yeah, the guy who's only got a finger and a thumb on his left hand. Guess how that happened. I heard he owed a lot of money to some yid from Southport. You get my drift? Oh, right. I get the picture. Haha, <laughs> don't ah. worry, though. Crab's a moron. Nothing like that's gonna happen to us. Did you not see that light turn red? No, I did not. Stop pointing me out on it all the time. Dude, there's something more important than light going red in front of us. Hey, genius. Red light means stop. Guys, no, it does not. Not in the mafia world, okay? Stop hating on my driving. Alright, we're almost there. Drive through the gate and into the yard. What are you trying to kill us? Oh, that, that, Jeez, uh, well, relax, will you? I oh, don't worry about it. I just need to fix the card real quick. Don't mind me. I, I, I have it fixed in no time. Alright, see? I just needed to twist it a little bit. And bop it. And pull it. Okay, okay, I'm ready now. Hello there. Follow the Chinese guy. <gasps> I can't stop it. Okay, it's throwing by itself. Okay, that makes sense. Now just follow me. Hello, I'm doing hey, business. We got some business with your boss. Follow me, gentlemen. Mr. Wong is expecting you. Sounds good. I'm the boss of this operation. Don't mind Henry, he's just the looks. No, never mind. I'm the looks and the boss of this operation. Give me the suitcase. I have a great character build for this uh, operation. Come on, please. It's very important. I guess not. Alright. So at this point you're just kind of there. They look very suspicious. Welcome, Henry. Hello, Mr. Wang. Let us get straight to business. Is your suitcase heavy enough? See for yourself. Yo, da, this is a bank of 20 yen Beijing Cao Piao. It costs 35,000 yen. All right, take it away and bring the goods. You're a good man, Henry. Here is your merchandise. Each bag contains one kilo. Each kilo weighs a little more than two pounds. Which one do you want to test? The suspense? Okay, we're good. I'm glad. Next time, we can give you twice the amount. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Wang. The pleasure was all mine. Then you're gonna shake hands, okay? Knock it off. See how easy that was? Let's get back in the car. Alright, fellas, the hot pot's over. Now we just gotta make the exchange and we're done. Sounds good to me. Where are we headed? Hunters. I got it all kinda ready. awkward. We should 
really not mess with the drug business if Falcone is hunting people doing drugs. Just saying, by the way. Hello, gentlemen. Fucking I setup. think you have something for us. Drop the suitcases. Hmm. My shoes. Wait a minute. These guys ain't cops. Kill the bastard! Shoot me up! Watch back. Back me up, what? Vito. Who the heck are they down in the pub? Here comes more of them! Hold on. I got a thing. Nice. Oh my There's god, what is going on? Ah oh, shit, can't go back that way. Run! I already went this way though. Move your asses! Thanks over there! Vito, watch out back! Oh, I thought I. Oh, you want me to watch the bag or you want them to watch the bag? Oh, what? Stay away from the window, fellas. Damn it! No sense staying stay up down. here. Vito, kick the door in. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to end this video here, though, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. If you wanna see more than from me, search by 8000. Hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. And as always, stay awesome.